அன்புக்குரிய மாணவர்களே தற்போது நிலவுகின்ற கோவிட் ஆக்கிரமிப்பால் பாடசாலைகள் தனியார் கற்பிக்கும் நிறுவனங்கள் என்பன இயங்காத நிலையில் பல பெற்றோர்களினதும் மாணவர்களினதும் வேண்டுகோளுக்கு இணங்க வீட்டில் இருந்தவாறே மாணவர்கள் கற்றுக்கொள்ளக்கூடிய வகையில் எமது நிறுவனம் நீண்ட கால கற்பித்தல் அனுபவம் கொண்ட பிரபல முன்னணி ஆசிரியர்களை கொண்டு பரீட்சை வியூகம் எனும் தொலைக்காட்சி கற்கை நிறையை உயர்தர மாணவர்களுக்கு அறிமுகம் செய்கிறது வழிகாட்டல் வகுப்புகள் நிகழ்த்தப்படுகிறது இக்கற்கை நெறியானது இரண்டாயிரத்தி இருபது உயர்தர மாணவர்களுக்கானதாக காணப்படினும் ஆரம்ப பகுதிகளில் இரண்டாயிரத்தி இருபத்தி ஒன்று இரண்டாயிரத்தி இருபத்தி ரெண்டு மாணவர்களும் பயன்பெறக்கூடிய வகையில் பாடநெறி ஒழுங்கு செய்யப்பட்டுள்ளது ஓகே டியர் ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு த லெசன்ஸ் ஐ எம் வெரி ஹாப்பி டு மீட் யூ லாஸ்ட் கிளாஸ் ஐ ஹேவ் ஸ்டார்ட் அட் அண்ட் ஒர்க் அவுட் வித் யூ த பேசிக் இங்கிலீஷ் that time i have considered regular irregular verbs from these verbs i have explained the regular verb pona class la regular verb irregular verb eppadi uruvaagudanta vilakkathai naan ungalukku solli irundha and the regular verb வினை சொல்லுடன் ஈடு சேர்ப்பதால் வேர்ப் ஒன் வேர்ப் டூ அண்ட் வேர்ப் த்ரீ ஆகியவை உருவாகின்ற முறை உங்களுக்கு காட்டப்பட்டிருந்தது ஹிய ஐஎம் கோயிங் டு ஸ்டார்ட் கவு கேன் யூ மேக் த சென்டென்ஸ் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் த ரெகுலர் வேர்ப் அண்ட் இரெகுலர் வேர்ப் ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஆஃப் ஆல் யூ சூட் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் இந்த ரெகுலர் வேப் ஈடி சேர்ப்பதால் ஆரம்பிப்ப ஈடி சேர்ப்பதால் உருவாகுதமா உருவாகின்றத போல இரெகுலர் வேப் வில் பி சேஞ்ச் டோட்டலி ஃபார் அன் எக்ஸாம்பிள் வென் ஐ டேக் பிளே ஆஸ் வேப் ஃபார் த வேப் ஒன் ப்ரசன்டென்ஸ் நிகழ்காலத்தில் பிளே என்ற சொல் உருவாகும் போது பாஸ்ட் டென்ஸ் ஈடி சேர்ப்பதால் பாஸ் பார்ட்டிசிப்பிலும் ஈடி சேர்ப்பதால் அந்த வேப் ப்ரசன்ட் டென்ஸ் பாஸ்ட் டென்ஸ் பாஸ் பார்ட்டிசிப்பிளாக நாங்கள் பார்த்திருக்கின்றோம் அட் த சேம் டைம் ஐ டிட் நாட் கிவ் த எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஃபோர் தோஸ் சென்டென்ஸ் ஃபோர் தோஸ் வேப்ஸ் ஹியர் யூ கேன் சி கவு கேன் யூ மேக் த சென்டென்ஸ் யூசிங் வித் ரெகுலர் வேப் now you see here ravi usually plays ball here the sentence is given as present tense under this present tense i have given the simple present i did not cons- consider the tense only இந்த சென்டென்ஸ் எப்படி உருவாகிறது என்ற விஷயம் உங்களுக்கு நான் டென்ஸை யூஸ் பண்ணி அடுத்த கிளாஸில் நான் செய்வதாக இருக்கிறேன் ஆனால் இங்கே இந்த ரெகுலர் வேப் எப்படி யூஸ் பண்ணப்படுகிறது என்றதை மட்டும் நீங்கள் பார்க்க போறீர்கள் ரவி யூஸ்வலி பிளேஸ் பால் ரவி வளமையாக பந்து விளையாடுகிறான் விளையாடுகிறான் inge ravi is okay subject so that is proper noun usually valamiyaga inge naan payanpatta pola verb vandu plays ravi is singular so the verb will be taken as we okay play with added with add with with s plays ravi singular aga irukkabadiyal pinachalukku naan s seithirukken so idu nigal kaalathai kurikkindrathu 
Ravi usually plays ball. Have you got a Tamil sentence also? Ravi, Valamayaga, Pantavali Alagra. And another example also will be given for you. Ravi played ball yesterday. Neither in the vinachal verb pair, dark panirkra. In the Nikal Kalatila, vinachal play and dirandrak. They say the play and dirandrak. This is the second sentence. Past tense. And Ravi plays. In the Ravi played verb 2. I have used the verb as past tense. And Ravi plays. In the Ravi played. So, in the regular verb, this is the past tense. You have to understand. So, this is called past simple. So, another sentence also available for you. Ravi will play ball tomorrow. Ravi will play ball tomorrow. Ravi nalaki pandu play aduvan. This is the future. In the case of the will and the helping verb, will and the will and the helping verb, will and the future will helping verb. Ravi will play, play at one. Ravi play at one. Ravi will play. So, altogether, three sentences have been given three tenses. Moon to Hala thing at the present tense will produce and Past tense will be used and future sentence formation one day. Those are those will be indicated indicated using the tense. So, dear students, every sentence will be considered. With the help of the verb. As I said here, the verbs, especially the regular verb, will be considered with three ways present tense, past tense, future, and future. And you can see another one. The second thing, irregular verb. If you understand the regular verb, automatically the irregular verb will be given more idea for you. So, dear students, irregular verb, olung katta, olung killada, regular lende irregular mata patta verb than irregular verb pakirikam. And you can see in the verb, the verb Nikalkala Vinachol will be changed totally for other tenses. Present tense will be Vinachol, past tense, past participle, you can see here. Now you see here. I have got some verbs here you can see first one buy bring eat give sing buy and a wang then bring and a contour then eat and a sapper then give and a color then sing and a part in the verb cell a pretty past tense past participle a pretty more than the video at the Ningal Pakala. When you see the, these verbs, you have to compare with the with those regular verbs which was explained, which were explained by me there. Yeah. Now 
Now you can see present tense, past tense, past participle. In the present tense, the verb one is given by by and a vangvel. The by and a vinachol past tense are a verampode, it is here kela. Bot and a mark, B O U G H T, bot. Past participle also, bot. And another one, bring. Past tense ke brought takamar and past participle ke brought takamar. B R O U G H T. Very important. Don't forget. And eat also will be changed into eat and eat and give. Give akavum, give an akavum arik. And sing, sang kaka, sang kaka marik. Here, this is the activity for you. Can you find out for past tense and past participle? How can you make the right will be come, will be expected for the past tense and past participle? Anyone from you? Can you open your mouth for the past tense? With the okay, the verb of the right, the verb a pretty past tense. Anybody from you? Excellent. Tell me. Okay, past tense. Okay. Rot. Very good. W. R. O T E. Rot. So right will be expected. Rot for the past tense and past participle. Anyone? Very good. Written. W R I T T E N. Very good. Written. So you can see write, wrote, and written. In this way, you should know. You should familiarize the irregular verb for your writing and communicative skills in the future. And in my idea, in my opinion, without having these verbs, you can't do. As a as a as a learner. Should know those verbs to make understand through this sentence, through these verbs, because it is very tough, it is very difficult. These regular verb for some students. In fact, when you study, when you learn your language skills, language sentence. You want to use these verbs than the regular verbs. In your day-to-day -day life, you can get the verbs, regular verb, with very easy approach. But this irregular verb is very difficult. If you can't use those regular verbs. You can't achieve the skillful knowledge through this language knowledge. So my advice: you want to use, you want to memorize, you want to familiarize those irregular verb in your day-to-day -day life. Understand? Excellent. So as I said, you have studied the example for the regular verb. How can you make the sentence with the help of the regular verb? Here also, I like to bring out the idea using the irregular verb for my example. 
Now you can see. They eat rice daily. I have highlighted the word eat. This is present tense. The meaning of the sentence is they eat rice daily. Averhal Tinamum Sorusapal. Averhal Tinamum Sorusapal. Understand? Okay. The next one. Kamala ate bread yesterday. Dear students, this is not difficult for you because I am helping you to understand the different one between other sentence. Earlier, I have explained, I have given the present tense. Here, the second sentence is past tense. First one, you can see eat. The second, eat. Now you can see, they eat here, Kamala eat. Kamala saaputtal. Anga saaputtal. Inge saaputtal. This is the person. Kamala ate bread yesterday. Kamala ate pan saaputtal. So, in the eat and the vinachol, inge eat agamarathu, not eat. Eat is here kele. Eat agamarathu. So, what is our duty? We should familiarize those sentences from my idea. The third sentence is also available. In the future, we may use this word, use this sentence like this. My father will eat rice tomorrow. My father will eat rice tomorrow. Enudi appa naalaiki soru saapidu ver. In the vinachol, idhila irukka vinachol paarenga. The verb vandu verb la maatam illa. Ana adukku naan future kuriya helping verb ah use pannirukken. Will. Will ah potta padiyal. You may get the idea. This is the future tense. My father will eat saapidu ver. Tomorrow also available for the future. Nalaki and Adam in Kudalana, Vlakamaka Rekrade, future. Ahave in the Vinachol, in the verb, a pretty change aki better than the Visiata in the regular verb parlor, we, we can understand well. And another one also. This is the further idea for you, further explanation. Now you can see here. Children have eaten mango with her. Children have eaten mango for her. Oh, sorry, with her. Children, Pulehal. Have eaten. Pulehal, plural, have a porter. In the eaten, okay, verb three, past participle of porter. Eat, ate, eaten. So the eaten and Vinachola. I have indicated here. So, the first one is the first one. The second one is the second one. The third one is the second one. The third one The appearance tells me. The third one is the So, children have eaten. Manko with her Pullekal Avaludan Mampalam and a manga sapitra crayer. So I did not expect all the explanation. Only you should understand how can we use this irregular verb for each and every sentences, sentences here. So, dear students, I have given the specific idea with highlighted 
verbs or words. From these highlight, highlighted words, you want to compare each and every sentences. How can we promote through these type of sentences in our day to day life or in the future? So, don't worry. This will help you to promote your life through this basic idea. If you have any questions or further explanation, don't fear. You can ask me. I am ready to explain your view because I am spending the time for your present and future purpose. I am staying with you. I am explaining everything for your standard and precious life. The next one is, okay, dear children, already I explained the verbs. You have studied a different type of verbs. I have given two type of verbs. Those are regular verb and irregular verbs. That time I gave the explanation also. Each and every verb has given the chance to understand what we are making the sentence. In the verbs of Ajakonto, but the next time next next time will be taken as different activity here. Now you can see, first of all, I have explained the verbs and why do we use the verbs and where we use the verbs and what's the purpose? Everything is very necessary. Here, the verbs will be conducted using with present tense, past tense and past participle. As I said earlier, clearly, in the verbs, Moonti Vidamakan and Blanga Parati, and the Moonti Vidamakan and the verbs, Moon to Karatil verbs, eh? Nan tend so tend with the Maka Katirana. Regular Raka Prindade, irregular Raka Prindade. Okay, that's all fine. Now, my chance to take you to understand how can we how can we use this verb? First of all, we should understand the communicative skill. In fact, a man likes to talk with others and get the facts and give the facts. After that, he likes to come, he likes to enjoy satisfaction. Here, I under, understand ever, everything there through the tense. So, I have brought you communication. As a human, the communication is very necessary. Unmaila, Thodar Paral and Pathas, very honor, Mika Mika Mukia, very important. So that's why I have given the communicative, communicative part through your language skill. Actually, you have studied earlier time, earlier in your classroom. You are Teachers have been given the chance, the skill, skills of knowledge. That's why I like to continue this session through my communicative skills. So I like to ask you, what do you mean? What do you understand from communication? Do you have any different idea? Excellent. Very good. Communicate, communications mean contact, to contact with others. 
using the language. That is a beautiful skill. Listening, speaking, reading and writing. Those are four skills. Those have, have contained under these communicative skills. Okay, dear students. Now your chance. Now you see, look at the board. Communications through basic English. This is my chance. I already explained the word words and verbs. Those are collaborated to make a beautiful sentences. In fact, earlier, earlier time, our scholars, educationists, educationist scholars have given many chances to make a sentences because of the communicative skills. That's why I am the, I am, I am the man to give the chance communicative skills through this tense. So, the basic skill is taken to contact with others. So, what do you want? First, you should understand, you should know the communicative skills through your language as your mother tongue or your target language. So, don't worry. I am giving everything using the target language and also your mother tongue. So, the basic skill, basic English skills will be taken by me through your communicative skills. This is very good chance for you. So, the very important picture is available in my hand. Now you can see. Can you see the picture? Those students like you, what are they doing? So, one, two, three, four, four children are communicating among them. Here, can you identify what are they doing? Can you clarify any words, verbs or sentence? Excellent. Now you can, you can, you can hear. Those students have been given the chance to talk. The first they have given, hello. And every, everyone have, everyone has used those words in their mother tongue. The first thing, when you, when you impress or when you talk, when you con contact with others, you have to use the word hello. So, four children are using those words. Hello, 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 hello. So, you also can use this word, hello, in your day-to-day -day life. Unmayila, ningal the hello and the word type, word, fine patang and rapodo. Unmayil, kerkravereke, and a response pantravereke, miga, sandusamana, budiamaka, irrecommended and number. So, I have given this kind of picture. This is pleasant for everyone. It gives pleasant for you. So, you can make a beautiful sentence using this picture. So, this is action. Action will help you to make a beautiful sentence, valuable sentence. So, let's see later how can we make a beautiful sentence. I will help you. Don't worry. How can we make a sentence? 
through this making the sentence we can collaborate with others contact with the people and you can share your knowledge and your ideas with my help so wait and see in fact dear students as i said earlier the communication part first of all you should know you should understand why do we use this communication okay well as a human he has a, he has an ability to use his communication communication with others that's why i have considered why and another wh word when so when do you use this communication we daily use this chance use this word use this sentence use this communication to get and give our knowledge or to get our knowledge or give our knowledge or to communicate and getting the different different thing from each and every one so why and when after that where so where do you use this language where do you use this communication so that's why if you know the answer automatically you may come to the conclusion what is a language or what is a communication okay dear, ch dear children those three wh question words are very important those bring a valuable knowledge valuable skills through your language okay next dear students you have given your ears and mouth your ears mouth and all all your parts of your body to understand and communicate with your friends and with me everything will be conducted that mean that conversation or language those are conducted through the tense so every every learner should study the learning skill through the tense so i like to give the chance to make yourself to understand this tense so don't worry medu meduvaga naan indha tense indha kaalatha ungalku naan vilanga padathadukku aavila irukra i am very eager to make you understand this tense so here you can know tense in ing english so my session will be taken the tense through this english knowledge so let's see here what is going to do so uh, as i said earlier under this under the under this tense you have to study three tenses what are they good present tense that mean nigal kalam and another one past tense that mean mudinda kalam in tamil tamil la neengal iranda kalam nu solluvirgal and future tense that mean 
எதிர்காலம் நடக்க போகிற காலம் அடுத்த நிமிடம் அடுத்த நாள் அடுத்த டைம் என்ன நடக்கும் என்பதற்கு அந்த ஃப்யூச்சரை பயன்படுத்த வேண்டிய தேவை இருக்கு ஸோ வி ஹாவ் டு யூஸ் தோஸ் த்ரீ டென்சஸ் இன் இங்கிலீஷ் லாங்குவேஜ் யூ கேன் சி Now, those three tenses have been taken into four, so into twelve basic tenses. As a learner, should understand, should study twelve tenses. These twelve tenses will make you a valuable knowledgeable person in the language skill so i am going to discuss with you we are going to study 12 tenses before that i have explain what do you understand from subject what do you understand from verb before that what do you understand from helping verb an object those will be those words will be collaborated to make a beautiful sentences through using this 12 tenses so don't worry children i am with you to explain those things if you have any questions you can ask me and you have continuous explanation and further explanation will be given by me here so don't worry you can be confident to understand and promote your life step by step here so under this 12 basic tenses you can see first one you want to study structure can you know can you tell me what you understand from structure so this structure is very necessary because of the pre plan this pre plan will be taken with a structure like our language this knowledge also this language knowledge also will be taken with structure inga tamil la padichirupiyal tamil la oru vaakiyam varumaga irundal vaakiyathinude eluva enge irukka vendum vinachol enge irukka vendum அதனுடைய செயற்படு பொருள் எங்கே இருக்க வேண்டும் என்றெல்லாம் படித்திருப்பியார் லைக் திஸ் அதே மாதிரி இதிலையும் அந்த வாய்ப்பை நான் கொண்டு வர ஆசைப்படுகிறேன் ஸோ தட் இஸ் தட் இஸ் கோல்ட் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் அண்டர் திஸ் ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ஹவு டூ வி மேக் த டென்ஸ் ஓட்டோமேட்டிக்கலி வி ஆர் அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் வி கெட் அ நாலேஜ் how do we make the tense eppadi in the tense naangal make pannalam so if you understand if you get them give them answers for this question automatically we can make a valuable sentence so i have given the chance first you want to get the subject the following the subject what won't you do that will be available answers is here so how under this structure we should know how the next one usage if you know the structure we can 
No, we can use this structure to make a better communication with others. If you want a better communication, you want to use the use a well planned structure. This well planned structure will motivate you to use with others. So your language will be will be taken your personality and your behavior and your day to day activity. So this structure will promote you to use with others. In this way, after taking the structure, you can use with other person, with others. So here, under this usage, we should know the question, when and why do we use them? So in the Moli, Nangal Epodu Ain Pain Prathavantam. Okay, you can see when Epodu. Why? Ain. In the Moli, Nangal Pain Prathavantam and other Nangal Angil Tere Miha Mukio Terbiaka Erekandra. So before doing, before preparing these 12 tenses, we should know two questions, two, two statements. First one, structure. The second is usage. So don't worry children, I will go with the structure with very explanatory View. In the future, in the in the future, you may use those things and you can promote your life successfully. Clear? Good. Now you can see here, I have given this uh, okay figure. You are going to find out three things from this figure. What is that? Yes? Well. Okay. Tense will be divided into three ways. First one present, second past and future. Today's part, I like to give the 12 tenses with more explanatory item. Here, I will use those things with very easy way and easy method. That method will, will help you to understand everything through your language. Clear? Okay. Now you can see here the highlighted words. So for so under 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 this present tense, I have divided four tenses. Those are small units. Those th those four small simple simple sentences will be expected through the present tense. Here, you know well, first one, present continuous. This is Tamil, Nihal Gala Todar Vakiyam. On the time, the Vakiyam, on the action, Nadandu Kondirakra. So, present continuous. Here, P, present and continuous C. So, our small children expect the easy idea. That's why I have given 
the specific knowledge and with a with very easy one to understand through this tense. So present continuous has been taken PC, not personal computer. This is PC, present continuous. So when you study in the future, okay, you may you may you may get the valuable difficult situation to memorize that is that will be difficult for you because you can't memorize everything so that is a technique if you want everything you can know and keep this knowledge like this so students the under this present tense the first part first unit present continuous pc the next time when I ask this question, what do you understand from PC, automatically you may say present continuous. Good. After a short break, I may meet you. Okay, dear children, your facial expression tells me you are feeling tired, no? So next time, I will continue this session. Now. I stop this class and I will meet you later. Good luck. Thank you.